What's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. This is Cody Woods and this afternoon what I'm doing is changing this stator cover on this 2006 Kawasaki ZZR600 and you can probably already tell I've been into it a little bit already if you haven't noticed the big puddle of oil um, and the loose components but um, so I've already been into this a little bit I just couldn't help myself before I grabbed my camera um, but now I can go over some of the things that I've learned thus far since I actually haven't done this before, but I, I've seen questions about it because like this is a cheap part. Here's my replacement. Um, and it's the first part that gets road rash whenever you have your bike on its side. And it can go a long way, um, especially if you're running frame sliders and stuff and the damage wasn't too bad. This could be like the only thing that really sustains much damage in a slide. And I, I did this myself. Um, I had it on its side and uh, I'm gonna replace it because it's like 35 bucks uh, for, for one of these covers from China um, so first thing that you should know is online some people say yeah you're, you're gonna lose a little bit of oil if you don't drop the oil first I would recommend just dropping the oil because you're gonna lose more than some it's like half a quart or something um, I had to run and scramble for my drain pan meanwhile I made a huge mess for myself to clean up um, so it would be my recommendation that you just drain the oil and uh, don't even worry about it. Like I already had to change the oil anyway. Like I should have just drained it, but I didn't think I was gonna lose that much. Lesson learned there. But I found the easiest way to do this on this machine is to take both of these bolts loose. And um, here, let's just show you. There's gonna be, on the stator cover itself, there's going to be eight, eight millimeter bolts that you're going to remove. And this water reservoir actually gets in the way of one of the upper ones. But I've found that if you loosen and remove both of these bolts, there's going to be a spacer behind both of them. I'm just going to try to grab it here. Right, there it is. And then remove this top hose, which you can see I've already done. And then you can take the short spacer you just pulled off of the other side and the short bolt. Move them to the front position of your water reservoir. And then choose either either hole here. I, I'd use this one because it was just a little bit easier for me. Um, but your mileage may vary, it doesn't matter. It, it works either way, I think. So I just um, use this one to just kind of hold the water reservoir there. Hold that uh, top opening up so your water I got engine ice in this one uh, so your your coolant doesn't drain from your reservoir and uh, once you get all eight bolts removed from around your stator cover um, they're all the same length you do not need to remember from which hole they they came um, not working in the most sanitary environment outside this is one of the reasons why after this project I'm probably gonna try to sell this bike I just don't have the room for it and, uh, and and all that stuff. Somebody needs to enjoy this bike and I just haven't been. Um, anyway, that's a different story. So once you've got all this loose, this actually just pops right off. There's a couple of things inside that you need to be aware of. One thing is the magnets on your stator are quite strong. Um, they're gonna they're gonna wanna they're gonna hold that uh, stator cover on actually. And there's also the gear for your uh, starter, the one that interfaces your starter to your. Uh, um, the flywheel is, uh, well, it's in there. We'll, we'll see here. Um, this, I had to do some wiggling. I didn't have to hit it with a rubber mallet or anything to break the gasket loose. It's a, it's a metal gasket. I've already got it right here. It's my new one. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't on, uh, it wasn't like stuck, you know, like you would think it might be, uh, being that it's the OEM part from 2006, but it actually comes off pretty easy. Um, there are some guide pins, but you can see the magnets fighting me right now. There we go. And then inside, we have a T30, three T30 uh, Torx bolts and two four millimeter hex bolts. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like this has ever been messed with. I'm gonna change that, but this here, this guy can come out on you. This is loose. Um, this just fits in there. Uh, it's it's a very tight tolerance on this pin and the hole that it's sitting in, but all this is loose. Uh, yours may come off on you if you're, you know, being a little bit uh, 
maybe more aggressive or something it might it might fall but it's okay you can put it back in there um, might take some finagling but uh, no worries and uh, yeah here we are so I think I got a no I got so I'm just gonna remove the wiring and then these three bolts um, one thing I will say and I'm going to do before I get started this should hang by the wires probably not the most um, ethical thing to do but it will work in this situation uh, one of the things I will say about this cheap Chinese one um, it had some flash around some of the cast like in the mold and the, the casting um, that I had to remove the aluminum was quite flaky and I didn't want that stuff getting into this uh, rotating assembly in any way so I did have to clean this up with uh, I used a file and a screwdriver and stuff and uh, managed to get all the flakiness off of this uh, inside of this part and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go rinse it out once more here just to be 100% sure um, but this is gonna be pretty straightforward and I don't think I need to cover this just you know take these three out uh, Torx bolts off and those two Allen heads swap them into your new cover and it should be it should be that easy you know like there's it's really not much else to it and then you just fit this one on make sure you make sure you buy a new gasket um, these do compress so uh, whenever you torque this down you're going to compress this gasket and uh, your old one's already compressed it's essentially junk it'll probably work you know but best bet spend the ten dollars whatever it is on a new gasket and just be done with it um, all right that's uh i think this may end up ending this video if i come into any other issues i will start the camera up again but i don't think i need to i mean this is a pretty straightforward project it really doesn't need much explanation okay i'll see you guys in the next video be safe out there